Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today the car that I'm introducing to you is the 2023 all new Honda Accord. And this is the most highest grade one. This is the Touring Hybrid. Today I'm at Paragon Honda and I am all new Honda Accord. Let's start this full review by talking a little bit about the car's exterior accent. First of all, I'm going to show you the front. So let's get inside, turn on these full LED lights of the all new Honda Accord. So the full LED headlights are on for the front. You can see you have your hazard and your data running lights on the top. Then you have your main headlight and the center one is your high beam. Overall the headlights are a little bit inside the body to make it look a little more angry. And then if you can see because it's an American spec, you have this extra touch for the headlight that is a side reflector that all American cars get. And it all the way continues and goes till the other side of this sharp front end. Then if I come to the other side, you can see the headlights are pretty much same. But if you look at the front grille and the front exterior, the grille is fully in black and this car is a two-tone color as well. The grille is fully in black because it's a touring version. You have the Honda logo at the front, you have the number plate slot here, you have opening on the top and the bottom. You have parking sensors and it's total four sensors at the front. And overall, it looks very nice from the front end because the upper portion is in this red color and the bottom portion is in this black. If I get up now, you can see there are lines on the hood. And then you have rain wipers as well that are very impressive. When the rain comes on, it automatically starts working. Now let's see what is the heart and the powertrain of the all-new Honda Accord. And for opening the hood, do it from the driver's side. And then there is a small lock. Okay, let me get that out. And then get the hood up. You have this strut. If I get this up, there's a placement located here for putting that on. Now let's come to the car's engine. The Honda Accord, the new generation, everything is newly designed and everything is newly, newly engineered. You have a hybrid model and a non-hybrid model for this generation. And overall, just look at the engine. You have the main engine right here. You have the Honda written, as you can see. That's where you pour your engine oil. Then you can see you have your hybrid front motor battery here. The battery is at the floor, but this is the front motor. You have the car's battery here. This is your fuse box. And overall, it is a very organized engine bay. And combining from this four-cylinder engine and the hybrid battery, it is producing 204 horsepower 134 pound-feet of torque it's pretty good and with that you have the automatic transmission with all of the different variants now let's close the hood but you have insulation on the top and you have this vent this is not actually a vent you have this cover with this rubbering area why you have the intake of the car here that channels air from the front grille as you can see and it takes it here and it feeds it inside there for not getting it outside that's why it wraps it around now let's close the hood because we're pretty much done so let's get this down. let's put this back in place and then let's just get closer and just tap that's pretty much it for, and I'm going to show you the side profile but if you want to look at some other paints you can see there is a white one right here and that's also a very top line variant now let me show you the car side profile and tell you guys about the cars wheels so the Honda Accord before I show you the side profile I want to talk about a little bit of history of the Honda Accord the Honda Accord was first started manufacturing at 1976. From then, it has 11 generations, and this is the 11th generation. This started production from 2023 and will do production until 2025. After 2025, it will have a new generation for its model. Now, let's look at this car side profile. Let's start with the front, and then, so if you guys come closer, this is the touring model. So that's why it has the biggest wheel you can get. So these are the wheels that are in two-tone color. You have this gloss black and you have this aluminum finish. Overall, these wheels are pretty nice. The front wheels are 235, 40, or 19s. 
and these are Michelin tires, so very good tires and grippy tires. Your four piston brakes at the front and the brake thickness is 12.2 inches with strut suspension and coil springs. If we get up from there, just look at the side body and the aerodynamic way of looking at the side. How the air can pass through till the back that all the way goes till there. Now if we come to the car's chrome trimmings, it all the way start from the front and all the way go till the back. And then if I go to the actual front aerodynamics, the doors are pretty widely openable. So it's pretty easy to get inside and outside as you can see by opening the doors. And then if you look at the bottom portion, this is actually painted in black at the front splitter and the back splitter continued with it. And if you look at the rear wheels, rear wheels are same as the front, but the rear brakes are smaller and the thickness is 11.1 inches with multi-link suspension and coil springs. If I get up now, we're pretty much done with the car's side profile, but I have to go on the other side for showing you guys the car's fuel tank. So for the fuel tank, if the car is unlocked, if you just press here, the fuel tank opens up. And it is a capitalist system for America and North America and it has the 85 liter fuel tank. It is a hybrid variant so it's going to give you pretty good fuel economy. And I'm really sorry because I'm shooting this car when it's raining. So there would be some sound problems and some problems in the videos. But I'm going to show you the rear now. But I'm going to give a little short notice to everyone who lives in New York City and wants to buy any Honda vehicles. You can come to Paragon Honda and ask for Dib Sharkar. I'm going to leave his cell at the description. Now let's look at the car's rear. So before I show you the rear of the car, I would like to show you the key of the car. The key has been newly designed from the previous generation and it's like the Civic. This is key number one, so it says one and you have the Honda logo there. Then you have your lock, unlock, remote start, trunk opening and your panic button. For your remote start, you have to just lock the car and hold this button and your car turns on. Because this is the hybrid variant, that's why you can't listen to the car's sound, but it's actually on. Now let's get inside and I will turn the car's rear tail lights. You can see this is coming with the smoke because the car's engine is on. So that's how you can identify this remote start to work. Let's So the lights start from the side as you can see it illuminates from here and it all the way continues till the entire other side as you can see here. Then you have the Honda logo and it all the way goes till the end. Then you have the hazards and the reverse light placement there. You have the hybrid and touring badge here. This is actually for the car's reverse light and then you have the Honda logo placement here with the number plate slot and a cord written in this side. The sport variant actually gets a lip spoiler, but the touring one does. You have your upper stop brake light there with your shark fin antenna on the top. If I get down, you can see you have the exhaust that's placement there. It's a single exhaust. The below side has this black color surrounding the car. And you have four sensors at the back as well with two reflectors on either side. Now let's see is the Honda Accord practical or not. So there's a button placement here. If I just press this, it's a spring-loaded boot, so it's going to open by itself. You have more, uh, more than 450 liters of storage here on the hybrid variant. You have the floor mats of the car that come with the car. And if I look at the underfloor storage, you can see you have this much room. This is your tire repair kit. And this is a funnel for your car's engine oil pouring or your windshield wiper pouring. And that's pretty much it for the car's boot. You have these two buttons for folding down the seat 60-40 distribution as you can see here and then I have to get inside and open it from there this is the 40 this is the 60 and now you have your maximum storage you can get on the Honda Accord now let's close the boot and get inside the Accord so let's get interior you can see when you open the door on the new Accord, the opening isn't as wide, but it's pretty good for its size. Let's close the door. You can see knee room is pretty good. Headroom is pretty good as well. You have a light placement here that turns on when the door is open. And you have full leather seats until the sides. You have isofix anchor points that are located here, as you can see, at the both of the rear seats. 
and you have your seat belts there. If I get the center armrest down, you have two cup holder placements here, and you have two AC vent placements here for cooling or hot, getting the car warmer. You have two USB-C types, and overall, it's a pretty comfortable place to be in. Now, if I come to the door, so here we do that. You have your soft touch material, then you have your leatherette. This is for your opening door. This is for your manually locking and unlocking. This is your Twitter. This is for your heated seats. This is for your window button and for opening the window there it does, but it doesn't go fully down. And it's not a one touch either. This is your grab handle with your full leather until the back. You have your bottle holder and your speaker. That's pretty much it for the rear. Now if I come out, we're pretty much done with the rear seats. Let's get inside the front seats. Now we're gonna look at the interior. They have modernized the interior by a lot. Your soft touch material on the dash, you have your SRS airbag with the defogger, and you have total 12 speakers for this car, and it's from a brand called Bose. You have your seats that are fully powerly controllable from the buttons at the side. And because it's a brand new car, that's why everything's packed up. You have a lockable glove box that's placed here, and you have your owner's manual and the documents inside the glove box. You have your leather treatment with the nice stitching over here. And then if you look up, you have a sunroof on this car and the sunroof actually opens up sliding. As you can see there, and for closing, you can see there. And then if you come a little closer, you have some buttons here that I'm going to show you. First of all is your parking brake button. So you have electronic parking brake and the button for your brake hold system. Now I'm going to show you the car's infotainment system. So now I'm going to show you the infotainment of the all new Honda Accord. So for that, let's start up the car, put on the brake, pressing the start button. And there it turns on with this nice animation that says the Honda logo. Then comes a disclaimer that if you are the owner of the car, you have to do that. But we're going to just... Uh, use it as guest mode because we're not the owner so the new infotainment on the honda accord is borrowed from its brother the acura sedans the tlx and the ilx from acura but i have to say the in infotainment has been very much improved from the previous generation of the accord now the full infotainment is controlled by google so that's why you have google maps google play store google assistance this is the touring version, like I mentioned before, but for the touring version, you get this bigger screen. On the normal version, the screen is much more smaller. That you can see there are a lot of cars at the parking lot of Paragon Honda. But let's come to the in detail stuff. This is your widgets, your shortcut button. So you have your Google Maps. If you just open this, you can use Google Maps. It's very easy, everyone uses it. Then if you go home, you have your phone, FM, Play Store, you can download some apps. You have your smartphone projection, you have your power flow, so when the battery is making the power, when the battery is charging, when the engine is putting the power down to the wheels, you have your total mileage range that you have with the fuel it has. So it has a full tank and it can go 507 miles, so that's the range. And then if you go home again, you have Alexa, Google Assistant, then you have vehicle settings. If you go on vehicle settings, you can control a lot of stuff and look at the animation how crisp it is with the Honda Accord at the center and it is actually the touring version as well so you have a lot of things you can control from there then you have general settings so you have all the settings for the car like your display your sound and your cameras if you get out from there you have your personal settings Bluetooth trip computer USB AM and system upgrade and your Wi-Fi hotspot clock home link compass display mode and all apps if you go on display mode, you can control the brightness of the display from here. Now it's just on full auto. And if we come back to here, you have your shortcut buttons placement here as well. And you have this small display. So if you turn on Apple CarPlay, it's going to be until here. But this screen is going to always stay. So you have your power flow. And then if you go up, you have a clock. If you go up again, you have your compass. And then you have your media. You have your time that your phone's charging on the wireless charger and your profile that's going to be there. But it doesn't have a profile into it, that's why it's just like this. 
if I show you the car's cameras now, I'm going to put the car on reverse. That's the reversing camera with your parking sensors at the side and it has adaptive guidelines. This is for the different, different views for the rear camera. And that's pretty much it. And then if I put it back to park, there we are done with the infotainment. You have this button for your volume. And then if we go up, this is your rear view mirror that's auto dimmed. You have this button for your light placements at the inside. And this car has a portion sunroof like I mentioned. And then you have a sunglass holder that's velveted inside. And then you have vanity mirrors on either side with a powerful light placement inside there. As it's a brand new car, everything's packed up. And now let's come to the actual full dash. Like I showed you before, you have this full vent design. But the vent is there with the controller and you're turning off and on. Then you have the vent for the center here. These are two and this is for turning on your hazard. Then we have the climate control area. This car has heated seats and ventilated seats. And individual climate controls for people at the front. And then you can sync it as well. This is for your wind speed and it has a premium clicking sound. And this is for my side. No outside air coming inside where you want the air front and rear windshield heater. And then you have a USB-C type for your Apple CarPlay and a USB-C type for charging and a wireless charger placement there. Then you have the gear knob. Gear knob is pretty much the same as the previous generation. You have two cup holders. This is for your driving modes. And when you change the driving modes, so this is sport. This is individual. So when you go on individual, you can control each of the car's uh, things like your engine, transmission, suspension. And then we have normal and we have econ. So I'm just going to leave it on normal for the meantime. Then you have this E mode. This is for only electric mode. If you press this, it's going to go on only electric. But if the car has charge, it's going to do it. If it doesn't have charge, it's not going to do it. Now let's come to the car's steering wheel. Steering wheel is fully leather, step, leather strapped, but it's not heated. And it's manually tilt and telescopic, but it, because it's not a premium level car for American Canadian market. But for the taxes and the price in Bangladesh, it considers as a premium level car. You have the buttons here for your cruise control and you have the buttons here for the instrument cluster controls. Overall, the steering wheel is very sporty, but it doesn't do it as well as its competitor, the Toyota Camry. And the Camry TRD actually has a very sporty steering wheel, but Honda Accord Sport doesn't. Now let me show you the car's instrument cluster. Now let me show you the car's instrument cluster. So foot on the brake, pressing the start button, and then it slowly turns on with this nice animation that it does on the instrument cluster. So, first of all, this is your car's battery charge. So it's going to say full or empty, as you can see there. And then here you have your fuel. So it's going to say full or empty as well. And the fuel tank direction is actually placed there. And then you have your seatbelt monitor and your parking brake sign on or off. This is a full digital screen for the Accord, and this only comes with the Touring version. This is very configurative, configuratable, so you have your button here that you have to control. So first of all, if I go all the way to the top, this is your power flow. So it's going to show your engine, the wheel, and the battery. Then you have your fuel and your range. So this is going to give you all the information you need for your fuel economy. Then you have your speed and time. Then you have your navigation that is from Google actually, so it's much more helpful. And then you have your driving attention. This is your seatbelt monitor. This is your maintenance, your oil life. This is your safety and support. This is your no nothing on the this side. And this is for your brightness settings. This is for your heads up display settings. And this is for your traction control off or on. And this is for your general display. So I'm just gonna leave it with no contact. And then if I come here, you can configure the screen as well with the buttons placement here. So if you want, you can put AM, then you can change it to USB. Then you can change it to Bluetooth. Then you can change it to your smartphone projection. Then you have your Alexa. And then after that is your custom display. So you can customize all of the in display settings. And then you have just back. It's pretty easy overall how it is. 
but it says EV because it's on electric right now. Then it says ready because it's hybrid. Outside temperature is there and which gear you're in. So it's on park. This is with reverse. This is with neutral. This is with drive. And it's back to park. Then you have your E and auto, drive mode, and your mileage of the car. This is your full screen, but when you change to driving mode, it changes a bit for this instrument cluster as well. So this is individual, sport, normal, and econ. So I'm going to leave it on sport for the meantime. Then you have this for your high beam, for your hazards, and your headlight controls. And this is for your windshield wiper controls. But the windshield wipers are rain sensing, so it's on auto. That's why it's actually working at the front. It's noticing that rain's falling on the window. That's why it's working. And you have paddle shifters at the back as well. And then you can see the heads-up display is pretty simple because you only have the car's kilometer. But when you drive it and you go on navigation, it gives you a little more information at it as well. Now let's go on the door. So then you have a defogger for the window as you can see it's located there. Then you have your AC vent and this is how you control the AC vent and this is how you turn it off and turn it on. Then if we go down, this is for opening the boot. This is for opening the hood. As you can see, that's located back there. Then you have your dead pedal, brake pedal and gas pedal located here. Then you have your seat controls that are here and you can raise and lower the seat by the button placement there. And you have your lumbar support as well. Then if you come to the door, you have soft touch materials on the top that all the way come till the back. Then you have your leatherette until here, but you have no ambient lighting, unfortunately. You have your two memory seats, and this is for your door opener. Then you have your exterior mirror controls, lock, unlock, window lockers. Front both are autos, but rears are, you have to hold on. Then you have your grab handle with your leather until the back. Then you have your bottle holder placement here, and you have your both speakers that are total 12. That's pretty much it for today's review. I'm gonna turn the car off and here let's exit the car. So if you like this review, make sure you hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. I wanna say thanks to Paragon Honda for providing the all new Honda Accord to me. So if you live in New York, if you need the all new Honda Accord, you know where to come. Until then, I'll see you next time. And the price and warranties are going to be on the description.